The Strand Bistro, an Italian-American eatery, gives you the wow with your dining experience. For a limited time, try two of our two topping authentic Italian pizzas for only $15.99. Also available with our very popular cauliflower crust. Order any two entrees, such as our made-from-scratch lasagna or our shrimp alfredo, with your dine-in purchase, and you will receive one free ticket to The Strand, good for 30 days. That's The Strand Bistro. Our call-in line is 402-4055. The Strand Bistro. It's not just a movie, it's an experience. Hinesville Home Center makes it easy for you to find your next home. They have a large selection of homes by Clayton, Platinum, Destiny, Fleetwood, and True Homes. Hinesville Home Center offers land and home packages, or they can help you put your new home on the property of your choice. Patty Manning, Lauren Jennings, and Greg Watson will help you select just the right home for your needs. Make sure you visit Hinesville Home Center before you buy your next home. You'll be very glad you did. Hinesville Home Center, Highway 84, across from the post office in Allenhurst. Great products, low prices, helpful service. That's Harris Ace Hardware. Harris Ace is your place for Yeti coolers, Traeger grills, Costa DeMar sunglasses, Calcutta Renegade coolers, plus Harris Ace is your hometown dealer for yellow wood treated lumber. Harris Ace will not be undersold on price, so you know you're getting the best price at Harris Ace. Your favorite place for hardware and lumber supplies is Harris Ace Hardware, West Cherry Street in Jessup. When further treatment is no longer an option, hospice can provide services to manage symptoms and difficulties caused by illness. Emotional, psychosocial, and spiritual care, as well as support to the families and caregivers, are all part of hospice care. Hospice of South Georgia has been a part of the health community in Wayne and surrounding counties since 1998. The professional yet compassionate attention provided by our staff is unsurpassed. Widely supported by donations from the local population, Hospice of South Georgia is the local nonprofit hospice in Wayne County. Our administrative office is located at 1625 Sunset Boulevard, and Hospice of South Georgia accepts anyone who meets hospice criteria, regardless of their ability to pay. Please call 912-588-0080 to speak with someone about hospice care. That was 912-588-0080. We are your hometown hospice, and we are here to serve you. Hospice of South Georgia working to add life to your days. Does your body need some work? At Morton Collision Center, our comprehensive professional auto repair services will restore your vehicle to its pre-accident condition quickly and affordably. Expert collision repair, undetectable color matching, free estimates, all insurance claims welcome. Towing from the wreck with your request. Let the friendly staff at Morton Collision Center help you by dealing with the insurance company directly. Call 385-1048. That's 385-1048. We guarantee all of our work. Morton Collision Center. Jones Prescription Shop, just like the Atlanta Braves, have all the bases covered for your prescription needs. Jones Prescription Shop offers fast, friendly service, specialty packaging, vaccinations, and they have a great selection of over-the-counter medications. For your convenience, they also have a drive through and delivery service available. Jones Prescription Shop accepts most insurance plans. Give them a call at 427-8825. Come give their hometown service a try. Jones Prescription Shop, 101 Peachtree Street, Jessup. Proud sponsor of your Atlanta Braves. Local news on WIFO. It's time now for Look Ladies and Local News. In the news, Wayne County Schools begin a week from today, seven days from today. Teachers report today to all campuses. On Tuesday, August 6th, each campus will conduct an open house. Time of the open house, 3.30 to 6.30 p.m. High school principal Brett McDaniel will be our special guest on the Butch and Bob show this coming Monday, August 5th. High school orientation for freshmen taking place on August 6th from 2 to 3.15 p.m. Arthur Williams Middle School has a program entitled Jump Start that sets for Monday, August 5th from 5.30 to 8 p.m. All types of events and games planned for parents and students. They said it's a perfect way to become more familiar with the school. All schools are asking that parents and students read the student handbooks, which will be handed out on the first day of school. Signature page in the back of the student handbook should be returned to the student's homeroom teacher within three days of school. Schools also are encouraging parents to complete and return the free reduced lunch form that also goes out on the first day of school. They say significant funding is tied to the percentage of students receiving a free or reduced lunch, so it's imperative that schools get back as many forms as possible. Once again, Wayne County Schools begin a week from today, Thursday, August the 8th. Reminder for those going to the high school or Martha Puckett Middle School, Bay Acres Road is closed indefinitely. 
parents and students going to and from North Pocah Middle School and Wayne County High School will need to access those schools in one of three ways until the road reopens. One, take Highway 84 to Joey Williamson Road. Two, take Highway 341 to Joey Williamson Road. Or three, take Highway 341 to Tech Drive and then to Durrance Road. Again, a reminder, Baker's Road is closed indefinitely. Solid Rock Christian Academy is still a few weeks away from their opening of school, but the school's principal says they finalized plans for their opening after the fire damaged their building weeks before the school year begins. Principal Sherry Bowen reports the plans were finalized yesterday. School will take place at Unity Church of God, which is next door to the burned building. Bowen says they looked into modular portable units, but there was not a company that could deliver them on time for the start of the school year, and the church reached out and told them they can use their facility as long as it's needed. Bowen says the largest need is funding to help get the classrooms restocked. School lost all their computers, still waiting on insurance to finalize the estimate, but things need to be ordered now. Once again, if you'd like to donate to the school, they have a fire account set up at Prime South Bank in Jessup. You can make a donation to the school. Once again, Solid Rock Christian Academy will start school at Unity Church of God here in Jessup. We'll come back with more news after this word from our sponsor, the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. The Trademark at 3689 Savannah Highway has been serving Wayne County and surrounding counties for over 30 years. If it's a small hand tool you're looking for or a 30-ton bearing press, we've got it. You need a tarp? We've got you covered. We have any size you need, from a 5x7 to a 30x60. So if you need a quality tool at an affordable price, come see us at the Trademark, 3689 Savannah Highway, or call us at 427-6966. That's 427-6966. The Trademark, the tool supply place. The Wayne County Chamber of Commerce invites you to a rebranding event for Georgia Hospice Care on Thursday, August 15th at 4 p.m. Come learn more about the services they provide and enjoy some refreshments and a time of networking with others. Join the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce on Thursday, August 15th at 4 p.m. for a rebranding event at Georgia Hospice Care located at 141 South Macon Street in Jessup. When you have an accident, you, not the insurance company, chooses the body shop, and you only need one estimate. All you have to do is call Jerome Riles at BNC Collision Center in downtown Scriven to deal with the adjusters and insurance company. Whether it's a little ding or a major crash, that BNC Collision Center across from Wazden Cabinet Shop in Scriven deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. Call them at 579-2274. That's 579-2274. Stop creditor harassment today. Stop the worry of a pending repossession, garnishment, or foreclosure. Contact the Bankruptcy Group, Attorney R. Flake Cabinets, for an experienced assessment of your financial situation. They have locations in Brunswick, Hazelhurst, and now Jessup. They are a debt relief agency. They help people file for bankruptcy relief. Contact legal assistant Tanya Blanton at 912-375-5620. 375-5620 to set up your free consultation. Let the Bankruptcy Group do the worrying for you. Now serving Jessup. In other news, qualifying for the City of Jessup and City of Voting Relations begins this month, August 19th. runs to Friday, August 23rd at 12 noon at the Wayne County Probate Office. Qualifying Monday through Friday of that week with the office open Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. City of Jessup Council members run in districts. There are six council members. While Odom City Council members run at large. Odom voters will have two referendums concerning alcohol sales on Sundays. Last day to register to vote to be able to vote in the upcoming elections is October the 7th. Early voting will begin October the 15th, run until November 1st, with the election day Tuesday, November the 5th. County commissioners have a joint meeting with the cities of Odom, Scriven, and Jessup this Friday morning at the Wayne County Airport to discuss t boss projects. Call meeting again set for tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. at the William A. Zorn Airport. Commissioners also set to meet Monday in their monthly meeting under Citizens Concerns, Thurman Tillman, to talk about partnership specialists with the U.S. Census under old business, considering approved modifications to J.C. Landing contract. Under new business, considering approved Wayne County Transit Title VI plan. Considering approved seatbelt policy. Considering approved special event alcohol permit. Consider approved agreement between Wayne County Transit and Ware County Board of Health Clinic Division. Considering approved change to the health insurance concerning pain management. Considering approved sale of property. Considering approved purchase of cameras. Consider an approved changing September meeting date due to the Labor Day holiday. Two board appointments, one in the Solid Waste Authority, District 5, one on the Hospital Authority in District 5. I just with the administrator, I just with the commissioners. There is an executive session to discuss pending litigation. Again, all that taking place Monday, August 5th at 7 p.m. 
at the County Commissioner's Meeting Room. Other news, WIFLFM talked Tuesday with GBI agent Stacy Carson to get an update on the GBI investigation at the county office. She says that investigation is still ongoing. She states the officers have been in and out over the past few weeks, and they have other cases they are working on at the same time. The WIFLFM went to the Sheriff's Department on Tuesday. Several GBI officers in the Wayne County Sheriff's Department working on the case involving the county administrator's office, and they, that's where they've set up shop at the Sheriff's Department. Again, no one will discuss the case as it's ongoing. Still have no idea who made the call to the DA to start the investigation. Still no idea what the investigation is about. Everything a mystery. No one but the GBI and the district attorney seem to have any knowledge of what is taking place. And District Attorney Jackie Johnson did state she will comment when the investigation is over. Also a reminder, tomorrow on the Ward of Fame's Butch and Bob show, County Commissioner Ralph Hickok set to join us. And that's tomorrow here on the World Famous Butch and Bob Show. We'll come back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor, the Commercial Messages, so please stay tuned. The Trademark at 3689 Savannah Highway has been serving Wayne County and surrounding counties for over 30 years. If it's a small hand tool you're looking for or a 30-ton bearing press, we've got it. You need a tarp? We've got you covered. We have any size you need, from a 5x7 to a 30x60. So if you need a quality tool at an affordable price, come see us at the Trademark, 3689 Savannah Highway, or call us at 427-6966. That's 427-6966. The Trademark, the tool supply place. Saturday, August 10th, Wild Adventures Theme Park in Valdosta, Georgia presents Skillet with special guest Ledger live in concert. If you can know that. It's the Wild Adventures All-Star Concert Series featuring Skillet with special guest Ledger live in concert Saturday, August 10th. If Concert admission is included with your park admission or season pass. Reserve seats are available. You are Get your tickets now for Skillet with special guest Ledger at wildadventures.com. Our customers comes first at First Franklin Financial. It's not just a slogan, it's the way we do business. Since 1941, we've been helping our friends and neighbors in the Southeast with their financial needs. We offer personal loans, bill consolidation loans, and more. So stop by our office today. We're conveniently located at 1074 North Macon Street. Or give us a call at 912-427-4237. You can also start your application online at www.1ffc.com. All loan terms and applicable APR depends on meeting our underwriting and income criteria for the loan size requested. It may require collateral. Georgia Residential Mortgage Licensee, number 5656. Simply the best. Those words describe Skag Commercial Mowers. Skag Commercial Mowers are sold at Night Saw Company in Baxley. Skag Mowers have been voted number one in outdoor power equipment, including overall satisfaction and product quality. They are made in America. Zero percent financing is available. Skag Commercial Mowers. Simply the best. Check out the full line of Skag Mowers at Night Saw Company on the Jessup side of Baxley on Highway 341, offering dependable products and service for over 50 years. Final notes and news, an interesting case in this in Atlanta involving Georgia elections. Georgia election officials are denying any evidence destruction. Lawyers for Georgia election officials are rejecting as frivolous allegations that their clients destroyed evidence in a case challenging the state's outdated election system. Election integrity advocates and individual Georgia voters sued election officials, saying the voting machines the state has used since 2002 are unsecure and vulnerable to hacking. In a court filing last Thursday, they said the state began destroying evidence within days of the suit's filing in 2017 and has continued to do so as the case moved forward. Responding in a court filing Tuesday, lawyers for state election officials called those allegations a desperate attempt to distract the court and the public from the complex lack of evidence of an actual compromise of Georgia's election system. The state's election system came under national scrutiny last year during the closely watched gubernatorial election in which Republican Brian Kemp was the state's top election official at the time, narrowly beat Democrat Stacey Abrams. State officials on Monday of this week announced they have selected a new voting system expected to be in place in time for the presidential primary election on March 24th, but the state still plans to use the outdated machines for special and municipal elections in the interim. U.S. District Judge Amy Totenberg held a two-day hearing last Thursday and Friday on a request by the plaintiffs in the lawsuit that she ordered the state to immediately stop using its current voting machines and switch to hand-marked paper ballots. She's not ruled on those requests as of yesterday. In their brief last Thursday, lawyers for the Coalition of Good Governance accused state officials of destroying computer servers from the Center for Election Systems at Kennesaw State University after a security hole there that exposed Georgia voters' personal data and passwords used by the county election officials was discovered. State lawyers then failed to ask the FBI for a copy of a forensic image the agency made of the server before it was wiped, despite saying they would. 
The brief also accused the state officials and their lawyers of deleting and overriding data preserved on voting machine memories and on memory cards used to program the voting machines. All the evidence that the coalition brief says was destroyed still exists and remains available for their review during the evidence-gathering process. That's from the state's lawyers. They write and contend that the coalition was aware of this and made the allegations to simply get news media attention and promote its fundraising efforts. The initial lawsuit filed in 2017 had nothing to do with the elections conducted while the Kennesaw State Server was in use, and the server was not identified as something that needed to be preserved until several months later when the plaintiffs announced their intent to file an amended lawsuit with additional claims. The state lawyers write, nevertheless, they argued an FBI copy of the server does exist, and the state has requested a copy and told plaintiffs in early July that they would have, would provide it to them. They state past election data on memory cards and the internal memory of the voting machines is not erased by literal usage because each election is stored in folders on various election systems, and the plaintiffs are aware of that, according to the state lawyers. State lawyers also state, therefore, allegations that the evidence was destroyed are simply unfounded. They state the coalition's allegations of evidence destruction amount to gamesmanship, and the judge should reject them. Finally, in the news, don't forget the Wayne County Grand Slam Fishing Tournament set for August 17th and 18th. The river is ready. Again, away in tournament headquarters will be at J.C. Fairgrounds at J.C. Landing. Those fishing the event can put it anywhere on the Ultima River, fish anywhere they have legal permission to do so, but they must be in line at, <clears throat> at weigh-in at the J.C. Fairgrounds by 12 noon on Sunday. Also, the rules allow two bush hooks per paid fisherman with the hooks clearly tagged and removed prior to weigh-in. No jugging <clears throat> is allowed in the tournament. Entry fees $50 per fisherman with a minimum of at least two paid entries of fishing in a boat. Registration forms will be picked up at the Tourism Board office. Online registration available through Active.com. For more information, check out the event website, wayntourism.com, or call the Tourism Board office at 912-427-3233. They state early registration is encouraged to ensure the tournament's success and the fish are abiding and they're waiting for the boats on August 17th and 18th for the Wayne County Grand Slam Fishing Tournament. That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports come to you in a few minutes. Bob Morgan saying have a great day. You've been listening to local news on WIFO. When you have an accident, you, not the insurance company, chooses the body shop, and you only need one estimate. All you have to do is call Jerome Riles at BNC Collision Center in downtown Scriven to deal with the adjusters and insurance company. Whether it's a little ding or a major crash, that BNC Collision Center across from Wazden Cabinet Shop in Scriven deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. Call them at 579-2274. That's 579-2274. <laughs> Football is back on WIFO and WLOP. The sports leaders in Southeast Georgia. Red 18. Wayne County Yellow Jackets. Georgia Southern Eagles. Georgia Tech. Atlanta Falcons. Jacksonville Jaguars. Football is back on WIFO and WLOP. Jessup's grocery store for the best meats is Piggly Wiggly. Check out these specials of the pig. Fresh ground beef, $1.88 a pound. Cordillon pork chops, $1.28 a pound. Claxton Fresh Chicken Combo Pack of Drumsticks, Wings, and Thighs, only $1.28 a pound. And save it, Piggly Wiggly, on russet potatoes, the five-pound bag, just $1.88. And red or green seedless grapes and muscadine grapes, $1.88 a pound. Shop and save at your Jessup Piggly Wiggly on West Cherry Street. This is Charles Huffman at Jessup Housing Outlet. If you haven't been to Jessup Housing Outlet lately, you're missing out on a large selection of new and exciting floor plans from the nation's top manufacturers like Clayton, Fleetwood, Scottbilt, and Homes of Merit. All of our homes feature modern kitchens and appliances, our 60 and higher insulation values, thermal pane windows, and energy efficient heat pumps. We have two locations to serve you, 2452 Savannah Highway in Jessup and Highway 301 South between I-16 and the bypass in Statesboro. Come see Charles, Bay, or Sheridan today. Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge Him in all your ways, and He shall direct your path. Brought to you by the Odin Baptist Church. 
Since 1946, Murphy's Builder Supply has been serving the folks of Jessup, Wayne, and surrounding counties with quality products and knowledgeable service. Matter of fact, they feel they sell service first to make sure you get exactly what you need for your home improvement projects. And with each employee at Murphy's being there for 10 years or more, you know you're talking with someone with the experience to help you with building supplies, tools, paint, and all the things you need from a full-service hardware store. The best choice in home improvement is Murphy's Builder Supply, 156 Northeast Broad Street, Jessup. A mostly sunny, hot day. 30% chance of afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Highs again mid-90s. Mostly cloudy, 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Low 70s for tonight. Tomorrow, showers and thunderstorms are likely. Highs in the mid-90s. And Saturday, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the low 90s. Georgia meteorologist John Weatherby in the GNN Weather Center. WIFO FM, the big dog in just time to check your birthdays and anniversaries. Brought to you by Bargeron Power Sports. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday today to Nick Ellis. Wishing you a happy 32nd birthday. Thank you for all you do for our family, school system, and community. Nick Ellis. From Crystal, Amarian, Dominique, and Cadence wishing Nick Ellis happy birthday today. Nick Ellis, 32. Happy birthday to Teresa Watford and Michael Stokes. Teresa Watford, Michael Stokes, happy birthday from the Trap Rules. Teresa Watford and Michael Stokes this morning. Happy birthday today to April Corbett. April Corbett celebrating. Aaron Hendricks, happy birthday, Aaron Hendricks. And Stephanie Williamson, Stephanie Williamson, happy birthday from your Wayne County High School band family, April Corbett, Aaron Hendricks, and Stephanie Williamson today. Happy birthday wishes and hugs for our great niece, Carly Altman. Carly Altman, who's celebrating birthday today in Jessup with family and friends. Love you much from Aunt Kathy, Uncle Jerry, and Madison, wishing Carly Altman. Happy birthday, Carly Altman, today. Kirsten Himes is celebrating. Kirsten Himes, happy birthday, Bradley Kicklider. Bradley Kicklider. Donald Martin, Donald Martin as well. Stephen Morris, Stephen Morris. Gary Sanders, Gary Sanders, and Terrence Williams. Terrence Williams, happy birthday from the Robin Eubank State Farm Gang this morning. All right, turn the page on the Long County calendar over to August on the 1st. Nobody on the 1st of August, Long County calendar. So on to the uh, big dog birthday book this morning. Happy anniversary today to Carol and Glenda Richardson, 22 years for Carol and Glenda Richardson. Your wife loves you very much. Happy 22nd anniversary to Carol and Glenda Richardson this morning. All right, via text at 912-427-3711. That is the way to get them in right now for birthdays and anniversaries. Please wish Lieutenant Ellis, that'd be Nick Ellis, a happy birthday from the Jackson family this morning for Nick Ellis. Lieutenant Ellis, a happy birthday from the Jackson family this morning. And also happy birthday Stephanie Williamson from the Lastigers, or Stephanie Williamson from the Lastigers this morning. Happy birthday, Ellie Townsend from Cletus, Bestie, and Griff. For Ellie Townsend from Cletus, Bestie, and Griff. Okay, let's see. Happy 13th birthday to our beautiful granddaughter, Reese Gabriella. Love you bunches from Papa and Mimi. Reese Gabriella, 13 today. Happy birthday, Big. We love you from Asher and Harlan today. Wishing Big happy birthday from Asher and Harlan. Will you put Reed's name on the radio? Put happy birthday from Chad. We just did. Reed is celebrating happy birthday from Chad. More wishes for Carly Altman. Happy, happy birthday, Carly Altman. From Daddy, Mama, Janice, and Tate wishing Carly Altman happy birthday. Happy 20th birthday, Carly Williamson. Carly Williamson today from Adrian, Christy, Gabe, and Cameron. We love you bunches and bunches. Carly Williamson celebrating today. Carly Williamson, 20. I would like to wish my wife, Penny Edenfield Jackson, a happy birthday today. Penny Edenfield Jackson celebrating. Happy birthday to Penny Edenfield Jackson. Happy birthday, Damon Fender and his mama, Judy Fender. Damon Fender and Judy Fender today. We love you all from Gigi, Papa, Dax, and Demi wishing Damon Fender happy birthday along with Judy Fender. Comment, comment, comment. 912-427-3711. You've got time to shoot one in right now via text. Birthdays and anniversaries brought to you today by Barge and Power Sports. Well, that's interesting. Why, why is that not playing? Let's start over. Push the other button. 
Sigmund Birthdays Today, horror director Wes Craven was born. Actress and comedian Victoria Jackson is 60. Uh, Victoria Jackson is here. She's from Florida. Um, She trained as a gymnast at one time before she wound up in show business. She writes songs and poems. And O.J. Judge Lance Edo is 69. Mr. Simpson is again present before the court with his counsel, Mr. Shapiro, Mr. Carson, Mr. Kardashian, Mr. Bailey, Mr. Blazier. Happy birthday to Damon Fender from the Lastigers. Damon Fender from the Lastigers this morning, or Damon Fender from the Lastigers. We'll come back with your big dog country birthday cake winner on WIFOFM, and we'll do that right after this for Barge and Power Sports. Good morning from the big dog at 734. Bargewood Power Sports invites everyone to come visit their unbelievable new showroom on Highway 301 South in Jessup and on Highway 341 in Brunswick. They have a great selection of ATVs, golf carts, mowers, and more. Bargewood Power Sports carries Arctic Cat four-wheelers and side-by-sides, the new popular Canyon four-wheelers and side-by-sides, cruise carts, and Yamaha golf carts. Bargewood has the full line of Kimco scooters. Don't forget, Bargewood Power Sports offers a complete service department for all your service and repair needs. Stop by today and check out Bargewood Power Sports, Highway 301 South in Jessup, and their new location on Highway 341 next to I-95 in Brunswick. Your Big Dog Country birthday cake winner on this Thursday morning. Happy 13th birthday, Reese Gabriella picks up that cake from the Jessup Big New England Bakery. That certificate's here at the station. You come by and pick that up, you head to the pig and claim your prize. Barger and Power Sports, Brunswick, Jessup Online, BargerandPowerSports.com. Brings your birthday's anniversary. Wishing Reese Gabriella happy 13th birthday. Big Dog Country birthday cake winner on this Thursday morning, first day of August. We'll check in with state news from GNN, local sports. Bob will have that for you. Get your morning Braves update. Uh, back at home for a four-day homestand. More famous Butch and Bob show at the top of the hour and so much more. Thank you for waking up at WIFO-FM, the big dog in Jessup at 735. Happy birthday. Reese Gabriella, 13, picks up the cake from the Jessup Piggly Wiggly Bakery. At 7.36, let's check your GNN Weather Center forecast on WIFO. That's brought to you this morning by First Southern Bank, investing in you since 1907. When it comes to growing a family business, we understand the business of growing. At First Southern Bank, we've been meeting the needs of South Georgia farmers for over 100 years. With competitive ag loan rates, including equipment loans, farmland loans, and lines of credit, First Southern Bank has all the banking tools you need to help keep your growing business growing. First Southern Bank, investing in you since 1907. For loan rates and more, visit FirstSouthernGA.com. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. A mostly sunny, hot day. 30% chance of afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Highs again mid-90s. Mostly cloudy, 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Low 70s for tonight. Tomorrow, showers and thunderstorms are likely. Highs in the mid-90s. And Saturday, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the low 90s. Georgia meteorologist John Weatherby in the GNN Weather Center. River level 3.8 feet still projected to fall. 3.8 river level. We've got a high tide in about an hour and some change at 8.50, 6.8 feet. Low this afternoon, 3.12. High again tonight, 9.16, 6.4 feet. Sunset at 8.23. Temperatures in the low to mid-70s, 73.73 here at the Big Dog WIFO. That's your GNN Weather Center forecast on FM 105.5. Brought to you by First Southern Bank, investing in you since 1907. All right, at 737, let's check in with state news from GNN on WIFO-FM. And that is brought to you by uh, England's Mobile Glass and England's Collision Center. Yeah, I'm going to take my horse to You can take your horse down to England's Collision Center and Mobile Glass. We've been serving Wayne County for over 20 years. We want to help you get the best prices and the best results. England's can help you with all your customizations, auto glass, collision repairs, and much more. We've been standing by our customers for over 20 years, so come on down to England's Collision Center and Mobile Glass. We're located on this Old Town Road at 586 Southwest Broad Street in Jessup, or just call us at 912-588-9922. I'm Matt Cook with the Georgia News Network, Police in DeKalb County. 
on the scene of an officer-involved shooting right now. This just happened. Early reports are an officer was shot and wounded during a domestic call. There are also reports that it started when a man shot and killed his girlfriend. The shooter is reportedly on the loose. The GBI is on the scene. Officials in middle Georgia searching for two inmates who escaped yesterday from a work detail in Spalding County. James Rodney Owenby and Zachary Gwen Rampley are on a work detail in Thomaston when they somehow slipped away around noon. Officials say both are members of the Ghostface Gangsters. Officials say they were wearing orange shirts, white pants, blue stripes when they escaped and stole a City of Thomaston work truck. Deliberation started again from scratch in the murder trial of two Henry County foster parents. Judge Brian Amaro agreed to replace a juror who had been briefly questioned by an Atlanta Journal-Constitution reporter. That's a no-no, and the replacement with an alternate meant that deliberations had to start over. The judge also decided to sequester jurors until the verdict is reached. Defense lawyer Corrine Mull cited the conversation and live streaming of the case as she asked for a mistrial for a second time, which the judge denied. Jennifer and Joseph Rosenbaum are being tried on murder charges in the killing of two-year-old Layla Daniel, a foster child they were caring for. I'm Mark Wolsey, GNN News. Atlanta police arrest three teenagers who they say are responsible for three violent robberies in recent weeks in the city. The most recent two of the robberies involved the victims being choked, beaten, stabbed, and robbed. One happened in Piedmont Park, the other not far from there. The earliest happened, though, near the Buckhead Marta station early this month and was the last to be discovered. There were some similarities in that robbery, um, the way that the victim was approached from behind, um, placed in a chokehold. Atlanta Police Sergeant John Chaffee says the suspects, two 18-year-olds and a 19-year-old. I'm Matt Cook, GNN News. Teach your children to arrive at the bus stop early. Stay out of the street. Wait for the bus to come to a complete stop before approaching the street. Watch for cars and avoid the driver's blind spot. The Governor's Office of Highway Safety wishes each student a happy and safe school year. This back-to-school safety message is brought to you by Royal Funeral Home, Calvary Baptist Church, the City of Scriven, David Deer CPA, Grimes Insurance, Harrison Real Estate, and Huddle House. Advanced Healthcare Center on South 1st Street in Jessup is your one-stop health shop for most all your health care needs. They offer same-day appointments, and walk-ins are welcome for medical, chiropractic, physical therapy, and massage therapy care for immediate treatment and pain relief for injuries and illnesses of all conditions. Advanced Healthcare specializes in the treatment of spinal and joint pains, headaches, neurological and muscle conditions, and family medical needs. Advanced Healthcare accepts and files most major insurance plans, accepts motor vehicle and workman's comp cases, and they make self-pay plans affordable for everyone so you can get the care you need right away. Call or walk into Advanced Healthcare Center on South 1st Street in Jessup or visit their website at ahc4health.com to explore the many ways they can quickly serve you. Advanced Healthcare Center, serving the Wayne County area for over 27 years, Feel better today. Good morning from the Big Dog WIFO at 741 on this Thursday morning, 19 minutes until 8. Uh, Let's see if we can zoom in on the Sports Cave webcam. All right, Bob's getting some last-minute information for this morning's sportscast, which is coming up next after the Family Minute with Mark Merrill, brought to you this morning by Wayne Obstetrics and Gynecology. Dr. Harris and the staff of Wayne Obstetrics and Gynecology want to wish the Wayne County Yellow Jackets the best this season.